Hi, this is Tony from the Masterful Engineer program and we're looking at today our electric boiler. And we've got electric boiler pro, um, it's on its unvented cylinder which is this Premier Plus Samson heater unvented cylinder and um, what we're going to be looking at is how to diagnose the fault on if we've got a faulty timer or faulty thermostats. So on this particular one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you that it's got power going to the unit and the overnight unit of this thing is working. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn this dial round, we turn it, and you see the lights come on now, that means it should be sending power down to the bottom version heater down there. So if I turn the boost bomb, so I'm gonna have to just move that and turn the boost one, that means there's power now onto the top immersion heater, which is that one there. I'm now going to show you how we can carry out a test to check that the immersion heaters are all okay, even without the power on. Right, first we're going to turn the power off to the immersion heaters, so we flick that down like that. So, if you turn your multimeter on and put it on the home's resistance like this, and what you're going to do, you're going to attach across the live neutral of this thermostat and when you do that hold it on very tight and that should change round about 18 ohms if you get that reading that means the thermostat and the immersion heater are okay if you don't get no reading and it stays on this reading zero that means the thermostat is not working it's open circuit it's not making a circuit so that's a quick test you can do to see if the immersion heater and the thermostats are working so like i said if it's on zero that means the thermostat's not working so you probably need to change the thermostat or worst case scenario if you take the thermostat out and do another reading across the immersion heater and it's still like this that means the immersion heater itself is faulty it's open circuit and you will need a new merge heater. The other thing um, to check for, remember, remember when I said that the lights were on before? Well, if the lights on for the peak and there's no power going down to that merge heater and you've tested that the merge heater and the thermostats are okay, then it's the time clock, which is the problem. Okay, so that's the end of this little tutorial on um, electric boilers. So if that was useful for you, send a comment below or on the website and we'll be glad to see you again on our next video. Thank you.